and welcome to Brad a Petite. Today I have some uh, candies sent from Japan, it looks like. Um, and I'm gonna say this. A lot of people are ordering me stuff through, um, you know, ordering stuff online and just sending it to the P.O. Box, and that's great, but I can't stress enough, please try to send uh, your name or your chat name or something in like a memo, you know? Something on the, in the, in the, in the note or whatnot. Oftentimes, you can like choose to send it as a gift for free and then it'll let you do like a memo line. That way I just kind of know who's sending these. Now I know uh, last week it was Rocking who sent me the squid and he said he sent me some other stuff. So this stuff might be from him, but I don't actually know. Let me know in the comments below so you can get your props. I'm doing two different things, so they might actually be from two different people, but I don't know. Uh, but these are both from Japan, so I'd, I'll, I'll eat them now. Uh, the first one is called Super Lemon. Super Lemon. Uh, product of Japan. It is a, outside has mild lemon candy and on the inside, inside it says Super Lemon Candy. Um, with lemon taste powder on the outside. Uh, interesting. I do like me some si It says right here, Super Lemon can Candy. Lemon powder, mild candy, super candy. I guess that means super sour. I don't know if I'll be able to get to the center on Brad Apetit. And the other one is, let me read the note. Ramun Soda Fizzy Candy. It's a fizzy candy in a little bottle. I think this is what, like the drink where you kind of like smash the marble in. Um, but it's the candy version of it. I'm pretty sure. This is also a product of Japan. Anyways, we're going to dig into these in a second. And... Um, the people on, on the cover of the Super Lemon look super distraught about the lemon candy. Maybe it's after they bit. <laughs> what he said. The, this boy is saying, Oh, no, Bell. I don't know what that means. Oh, no, Bell. Maybe that's some English. Oh, I think Nobel's the company. Oh, he's like, Oh, Nobel, you got me again. Um, it says the Nobel Times kind of in the in the New York Times font. This is weird. I don't know. Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, this week on the feed, we are going to be playing some exciting games. Tonight, starting at 6 p.m. Central Time, Chris Davis will be starting up uh, Mad Max. And at 8 p.m. Central Time, Rollo and Nolan, he will be playing um, some Rebel Galaxy, which is this new space indie game that's kind of... Uh, uh, <clears throat> He's played a little bit of the uh, of the beta on the feed before, but now it's it's out out, or it's gonna be out, and um, he says it's really cool. It's got like a firefly type soundtrack, and it's like got sp space combat, but you're like a big, you know, big huge ship like a Battlestar Galactica type ship, and there's all kinds of cool space combat. Definitely check that out. Um, he might also play The Witcher Three. You might want to check that out as well because I heard or I've seen for myself there's quite. Uh, an improved uh, performance patch uh, that is now live, which is good going into the expansion that comes out later this week, which you might see me playing later. Uh, on Tuesday, Tea Time with George, 3 p.m. Central Time. George will be trying to finish up Undertale. The podcast will be at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, it'll be a good show. Uh, we'll be talking about the Star Wars Battlefront beta. I've been playing that and some of the other guys have as well. Um, I'll be talking about Transformers Devastation and it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a good show. And after the podcast, I will be continuing with Terror Tuesday, my playthrough of Fatal Frame 4, part one and two are up on YouTube. So make sure you watch those in preparation on Wednesday, starting at 8 PM central time, uh, kicking it with Crispy. Crispy is thinking about trying that the new claymation game from the from the dudes that made the Neverhood, um, Armacrog, Armacrog, but um, but other than that, yeah, he's he's still trying to decide what he's gonna play. Maybe he's a little on the fence. I heard that game might not be as awesome as kind of some of us were hoping, but we'll see. Um, that's Wednesday. On uh on Thursday, I'll be playing. Um, I'll probably start. Around uh, 5 p.m. Central Time, I'll play all evening. And um, I'm likely going to be playing The Witcher 3 expansion and later in the night, probably some more Fatal Frame 4. I got to get through it because Fatal Frame 5 comes out in uh, a couple of weeks, less than that, actually. I'm excited. Um, and yeah, Friday, 
Nick at Night, 9 p.m. Central Time. He will be playing. Uh, he will be trying to finish up the Halo 2 remastered uh, campaign with Chris Davis in preparation for Halo 5. And on Saturday, who knows what the fuck is happening? Probably uh, a cool game uh, with you guys. All kinds of like weird betas and stuff out right now. I'm sure we'll find something multiplayer to play. Anyways, let's dig in. First with this fizzy soda candy. Allergies, man. Not cool in Austin. Uh, okay. Mm. Interesting. Cutting. Kind of a little bit fizzy. But I gotta be honest, I was expecting more. Not a bad candy though. Just not super fizzy. But good. I'll give this four out of five vapor tits. I'm gonna keep eating those after. By the way, next week for Ape Tit, I I I think that'll be when I do the Halloween Whopper. <laughs> the super black whopper they're selling at Burger King right now. Um, I don't know. Cause I'm stupid. Now let's try the super lemon. I like the packaging for this. They kind of look like warheads. Like the wrapper kind of looks like a warhead. Let's see. Ooh, it is round. It is spherical. Interesting. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Very much like a warhead. With that initial kick. And once the powder goes away, it's not too bad. But supposedly when I bite into it, that's when we get to the super, the super lemon. Maybe I'll suck on this a little bit and I'll bite down. Uh, but I don't want this <laughs> video to be too long. They're pretty good. Oh, don't know if we're ready yet. This might not work. It's a harder candy than I was expecting. On the package, it, it does show the the distress in their face when it looks like they crunch down. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm getting there. Hmm. You know? You know, I was expecting more from the Super Lemon Center. Really, it's just that initial kick in the teeth that's the worst. It is getting more flavorful in the mid middle. But, uh, hey, these aren't bad. I'll give these four out of five ape tits as well. Thanks, uh, Rocking or whoever else sent these. Um, pretty tasty candies from Japan. Anyways, that's going to do it for uh, Brad Petit. Please enjoy your week and uh, make sure you check out Fatal Frame on Tuesday and probably Thursday. And um, yeah, y'all have a great uh, video game week.